throwing drill to really create some power behind that throw. Today we're working on getting that mm, behind that ball. When you let go of it, it comes out of your hand high. All right, what we're doing, is we're doing a drill that is best served in the long toss scenario. Partner is 120, 150, upwards of 200, 250 feet away, whatever's comfortable for you. What we're doing today is we're doing a one-legged crow hop. So we're starting in our balanced position right here. All we're doing is we're gonna hop twice on one foot. One, two, that second time when we land, bam, we're going. The reason for two hops is only so we know that we are in control of our body's motion. Sometimes when we do one hop, our weight and our momentum gets going forward and we end up throwing automatically because we're already going that way. By forcing yourself to do one more hop, it just gives you a self check to let you know that your body is in control of the movement that's happening. Let me demonstrate real quick. I'm gonna get my ball, I get into my balanced position, in the glove, out of the glove, whatever's comfortable. We're gonna hop, one, two. All right, always trying to finish straight at our target. Let me demonstrate one more time. Balance right here. One, two. All right, guys, that's the one legged crow hop. Again, developing that back side drive to get that on the baseball. All right, guys, hope it helped. Stay tuned.